Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity to present and address the, this resolution uh, proclaiming Developmental Disability Awareness Month. It gives us an opportunity to take stock of how our family members and our neighbors with developmental disabilities uh, are faring. Um, we all have different abilities. We all face different challenges. Uh, we are a better and stronger community when we concentrate on people's strengths, when we work together as a community to provide the tools for everyone to fully participate. But people with developmental disabilities face special challenges in trying to fully participate in our communities. For them and their families, every month is Disabilities Month. And every month, every day is Disabilities Awareness Day. And they have been particularly hard hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. As a group, people with developmental disabilities reflect our population. They are diverse, they are bright, talented, artistic. But most of these special people are struggling to cope with a world that doesn't understand them or include them. By this resolution, we're saying that we do understand. And I commend this assembly for the efforts we have made to provide resources for those with developmental disabilities. Those with developmental disabilities just want what every other New Yorker wants, an opportunity for a good education, good health care, a good place to live, job skills, good jobs, an opportunity to participate fully in our New York community. And New York has provided resources to help many with disabilities, but New York has also failed many. Our model early intervention program has withered. Site-based preschool programs have uh, become a rarity. K through 12 uh, schools struggle to provide necessary individualized education. Young men and women with DD who seek higher education find few support programs. Those over 21 who are supposed to transition find little help. In New York, they must become povertized, qualify for Medicaid to receive any OPWDD services at all. Suitable housing is scarce, employment even scarcer, OPWDD certified services are being rationed and crisis response often is non-existent. A New York Times article not long ago portrayed the plight. The article shows that many of the federally mandated supports and services disappear at age 21, and loneliness and social isolation are common. Finally, it's estimated that one in six children have been diagnosed with a developmental <laughs> disability, and that autism alone, the fastest growing developmental disability in the United States, now affects one in 39 boys. About 500,000 children in the United States with autism reach the age of 21 over the next 10 years. We in New York certainly are not prepared. We need much more awareness. Thank you.